got it down here. Super Blue NXR, yeah. All right. So next we're going to um, take our spar and we're going to lay it right next to one of the front wings and we want to push it right up against the loop in the spring and we want to find where that little bend is and we want to mark it right there and you want to do both sides you know and you want to keep these separate because one if depending on how you bent your wires mark I thought Robbie had the camera. Uh, yeah, we got two cameras going. Okay, so then now you now you need to poke a hole through the spar. Now you can take some of the music wire and you can kind of use that as a, like a little drill. Um, you can do that. And you don't have to go too far. Or else you can use actual little drills. And these I bought at the hobby store. These are little tiny pin drills. Yeah. Yeah, pin vices. Pin vice drills. They go down to 65. I don't know. Yeah, they're very tiny. All right, so then you get a pin vice like this, and it's just like an X-Acto knife holder. In fact, you could probably use an X-Acto knife holder. And you just put it in there, screw it down. Just make sure you got it right in the middle. These are so tiny. Okay, so it's right there. And then I'm just going to drill a hole. Does the hole have to go all the way through? Yeah, it's got to be because the, the piece of wire is going to go all through it. Okay, so I got it through. And see the, how that hole goes through there? See the little, little dog leg goes through that hole? You got that? This part goes into the hole. Yeah. And then... And then we're going to take our string, doing just the same thing we did before. Tie it on and glue it down. Okay, so that's the one side. And then you got to do this twice, so I'll do both of mine. Mark it. Again, push it right up against that, um, the loop in the spring. All right, so I'll let you guys borrow that, and I'm going to glue mine together. We're going to put my string on the hole. You can follow at least half your rockets. You can follow at least one of the two that you lost. That's better than nothing. Exactly. Yeah, just a second. Let me get this in the hole. Uh -huh. Oh. Okay. I cheated. I glued the knot down, which is just as good. So now you can take it once you get it like that. You can just spin it. Everything's spinning around, but that's well, okay. Not much. We're just trying to put the wing together. I got one wing on. Well, of course, I got the center spars, and he's putting the wings on. Uh, then we're gonna put the material on on these little gliders. Hey, you know, huh? The born didn't come out, so I guess he knows it all. You get a big old Y. All right. So now we're going to need our our pattern here. So whatever way kind of sits up would be your top. I had this marked as top. 
But anyway, what we want to do is we want to mark the top two inches down from the center spar. Okay, right there. Once again, okay. you can you can be over here. That doesn't need to be here. Okay, I take one more piece of thread. And I have the super glue there, Jason. Sure. Okay, uh, you want to be like right in the middle on this one, and we're gonna glue this down right here. So I got equal amounts of string. I just don't want that going anywhere. Okay, now. That's two inches down from the nose. Right? Yeah. Okay. Now we're going to take this, we're going to tie it around one of the wings, and we're going to pull it, ah. string, until. See, I'm laying it on my pattern here, and I'm just pulling this one here until I get the exact 45 degree angle. See how that goes? Pretty easy. Yep, and that just holds it. Okay, that's one. Do the same thing with the other one. And you want to have these approximately two inches down so it's, it's a 45 degree angle. So I'm laying in the middle one. And just pulling on the string. Okay, does that look about right? All right, so I, the glue is just to hold the string down so it keeps it in place. All right, and then we'll trim the string. Make sure it doesn't unsnap on you. All right, go ahead and do that.